All righty, so we're going to start our uh, desert adventure here and we'll see if we can get ourselves into some trouble this morning. Oh, we're already in trouble as I stall the bike here. There she goes. There's nobody coming. There it goes. Good girl. All righty, we're across. I've got a uh, adapter cable into the GoPro, and then I have a, a la just a lavalier mic straight into that. So I don't know if you'll all be able to hear me talking, or uh, if what you'll hear is a voiceover. But we'll see how it goes. Let's see if I can find some roads. There aren't a lot of roads around here that lead off into the desert, just because of uh, all the oil companies and concrete companies and stuff that own land close to uh, El Paso. If we can catch ourselves some airtime. Nope, it would not appear so. Most of my riding is uh, riding road bikes on the road, not street bikes as in motorcycles, but road bikes as in uh, road-oriented pedal bikes. So uh, riding motorcycles off-road in this sort of sandy stuff is pretty new to me. This isn't too bad. This is a hard pack with uh, some sandy stuff. Just because a lot of people drive it as evidenced by all the uh, garbage and trash and crap everywhere. But yeah, here we go. Here's a nice little road we can get off onto. Yeah, this is real squidgy. Actually not too bad right there. RPMs down here, not overheat myself. It's a little bit of a warmer day. It's still nice and cool. I got my uh, Dinesia Dork Bora Air jacket and Climb Outrider pants with the uh, Thor Blitz XP boots. That combination seems to be pretty good for hot weather. Um, I haven't had a lot of super hot days out here yet, but uh, I think the hottest it's been for me is about 80, but uh, they seem to breathe really well. I've only really sweated when I'm working through some heavy sand or I've dropped the bike a couple of times. I've had to pick it back up. Oh yeah, this is really fun stuff. A lot of the side roads I don't want to go down too much because, uh, like I said, there's a lot of private property out here. So I'm trying to stick to the sort of more well-traveled looking roads. So that way uh, I got some plausible deniability if somebody pulls me over and asks why I'm on their property, I can pretty much honestly say that uh, I got lost and I don't know where I am. This area of the desert, uh, I get fairly good cell service, so it's really not too bad. Ooh, trying not to lug her down too much through this section. Twisty and sand is not a good combination on a bike. I've been told I'm fortunate to live in an area where uh, this stuff is prevalent. Um, I'm not sure if I believe that I'm fortunate, but uh, it makes for some interesting and fun experiences at least. See if I can give myself some power through here. Boy, this is some sketchy stuff right here. I got a pretty sharp right. I'm gonna almost have to rail it. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's pretty fun though. That's another danger out here. People, all kinds of freaking yahoos shooting and stuff. I actually don't really wanna go up this road at all. Cause that's the direction that they're shooting. Look at this, I'm nine minutes into my sand ride and I haven't dropped it yet, knock on wood. Stay up, nope. Uh. A lot of the time when I go down, it's just like that. It kind of flops. Slow starts on a motorcycle are way different from a bike. Boy, this stuff is soft, soft. Oh, there's another one. This one I'm gonna have to shut it down for. Good girl. 
Good girl. Clear out some of that. Trying to get her out of the rut she dug. The bike's 484 pounds, so uh, she's a little bit difficult to get going on some surfaces. Just about lost my bungee cord. I wondered what was making all that noise back there. Okay, so I don't want to go north of here because that's where people are shooting. Looks like someone else was out here on a dirt bike. A little single track on the right there. We're going to drop down first for this section here. There's a road going up there, but that gets really sketchy really quickly. This is really the only bad sand passage for a little while. So I'm just covering the clutch and hoping for the best, basically. Let the bike go where it's wanted to go. Let's see if I can give it some gentle suggestions. Ooh, stalled her. Kept her upright, though. See if that cools her down a little. Yeah, let's see if I can get her moving again. Try not to lug her out too bad. I got a 16-2 front sprocket, so that makes it a little bit more difficult, I guess. Once again, just giving her some gentle suggestions on which way to go. Take a left here. Some precision work. Let her cool down. Looks like her coolant temperatures come down a bit. Alright, let's get going. is all sand and it's all off camber sketchy sand like this is oh yep oh boy come on girly Ooh. let's take a left here Hold 
second through this. I don't know how well I'm gonna do. Nope, should have been in first. Oh. to bash it up too bad on the weekends. We're uh, continuing our adventure uh, with a little bit more sand. I think I've got to come up here and take a right. We're trying to shoot out at Pebble Hills, which is a little bit off to the right there. So let's get her rolling. There's a lot more people out today than there have been in the past couple weekends that I've gone. It might just be because it's warmer. says it says where are you going and what are you doing I don't really want to go south but I also don't really want to go boondocking across the desert all right let's try this here that was not a success very much not a success. This shit love is fine. Everything is fine. getting kind of 
close to civilization here. I guess we'll find out. 